I want to talk to you today about one of my favourite springtime flowers, which is meadowsweet. And uh, what a lovely plant, eh? It smells beautiful, it smells of uh, honey and vanilla. And I'm sitting appropriately today in a meadow and it's just started to rain. And uh, well, it's British weather, isn't it, really? <laughs> but uh, we are going to get some sunshine soon. It's a lovely plant and uh, also known as Lady of the Meadows and quite distinctive. You can't really miss her as you're walking along the meadows or along, uh, alongside roadside verges. Very tall and you can't have very distinctive these beautiful white cream flowers. So it's a very medicinally healing plant, originally known as Spirea ulnaria. That was a Latin name. It's now Philopendula ulnaria. Spirea translates as aspirin. And back in the 1800s when chemists were working with plants to develop things like painkillers for us to use, they found a compound called salicylic acid within this plant. Salicylic acid, also found in things like willow bark, is very painkilling and anti-inflammatory. So we can take the plant to help us with things like stomach problems, so gastritis, stomach ulcers. And like aspirin, which can damage and irritate the stomach lining, stomach lining this doesn't do that. It has a, like a nurturing protective quality. One of the reasons I love working with plants is because we work with the whole plant and we work with the energy and the spirit of the plant as well. So with Meadowsweet, we're taking in that healing compound, but we've also got everything else uh, which is working in relation to that and, and just balancing things out appropriately within our body. We're working with the, with the full chemistry of the plant. So Meadowsweet is also very good if you've got a fever, a uh, cold, headache, will help bring that down. Also for the joints, so things like rheumatoid arthritis, um, joint pain, it clears the toxins out of the body and uh, helps reduce that inflammation. Very good all along the digestive tract as well, things like heartburn. Uh, I like picking the plant in the summertime. It's beautiful and you'll see here uh, these little leaves and you can pick those and the flowers. You can pick a stem here and you can put that into water and it will last for about um, a week and a half. Lovely to have the plant in the house actually, the smell. And that will keep fresh and you can use it fresh in a tea or dry it for future use. Tap out the flowers and uh, like elderflower they contain a lot of bugs and when the plant is actually dried it looks a lot like elderflower as well so make sure you label things when you keep plants uh, for future use like through the, the winter the plant was also used traditionally in the making of mead and uh, because of the honey like quality to it i love plants this time of year i love them all the year round but one thing i love right now is that you know you walk along and you go ah oh, meadowsweets come out or yarrows come out and uh, agrimony's out and they're not around for very long before the flowers disappear and we're back into the next phase of plants that come out. So if you can, try and pick this plant now in July when you've got the really beautiful um, energy contained within the flowers. And uh, maybe we just want to go and smell it. <laughs> it's really, really nice. But yeah, there you go, meadowsweet, beautiful.